Welcome to the Health Technology Program Preview, where we will give you a rundown on the various program streams you can take within healthcare here at McMaster University Continuing Education. My name is Monica Bilan, and I'll be facilitating the session today. So there are five health technology program streams to choose from. Uh, the first, we have a health information certificate. Uh, this one's designed to help students develop fundamental knowledge for working with health information and health records. Uh, next, we've got the health informatics diploma. This is designed for those looking to upskill or enter the field of healthcare technology, information systems, and analysis. Uh, this one's suitable for those who are working in or wish to work in areas of healthcare, pharmacy, public health, medical research, IT vendor, and consulting firms. Uh, next, we have uh, the Health Information Management Diploma. This one's designed with an in-depth understanding of healthcare technology. It's suitable for those seeking an information management program applicable to health, social services, or related professions. The Health Information Management Plus Diploma is designed for the most in-depth understanding of healthcare information, uh, how it's collected, used, coded, and analyzed. It's suitable for those seeking a profession, professional designation in health information management. And lastly, the Health Information Systems Certificate of Completion is designed for those looking to advance their skills in healthcare technology with a desire to be job ready quickly. It's suitable for those seeking professional development courses or focused training in health information practices. As with all of our programs and courses offered at Continuing Education, you have the benefit of studying on a part-time basis so you can work and meet your personal and professional demands. All the courses are delivered online, which allows you to study from home and provides flexibility to fit course activities within your busy schedule. The schedule for most streams follows a corporate model, which means that most students begin their study in a particular term or session and progresses throughout the program together. The cohort model provides great opportunity to collaborate with learners from across Canada, uh, even outside of Canada, uh, with varying levels of experience and working environments. You have the opportunity to develop your skills in interprofessional collaboration, which is required so often within the fields of health information and health informatics. Finally, you're able to maintain your continuous study in the program as each course builds on the work covered in an e earlier course. There are many courses to choose from within the health technology streams, from foundations of health informatics to data analytics in healthcare. Uh, you can visit our website to learn more about these specific courses. The Health Information Management Plus Diploma Program is applicable to individuals seeking a career in health information management, meaning you wish to work towards a professional designation of being a certified health information management professional. This program is accredited by the Canadian College of Health Information Management. Each of the programs have an online application process. For all the programs, your admission is based on your academic experience, employment, and your goals for the program. The programs are designed for individuals with a degree or diploma from a recognized post-secondary institution. To assess this, you're asked to submit a copy of your transcripts as part of the application package. You're asked to upload a recent resume, along with a one-page letter of intent outlining your interests, qualifications, and learning goals to start the program. Your resume helps us review if you have work experience that is not evident in your academic history, but this work experience could meet an admission requirement. You can view the admission requirements for each program on our website, so please visit www.mcmasterccc.ca to review the necessary requirements. To understand your career outcomes, it's important to distinguish between the two industry sectors, health information management and health informatics. Chima describes the health information management professional as the individual who provides leadership in all aspects of clinical information management at both the micro and macro levels. Health information management professionals support data collection, use, access, and disclosure to the retention and destruction of health information regardless of format. Health information management professionals perform qualitative analysis on the documentation, 
within the health record and are responsible for the security of health records. Digital Health Canada describes the health informatics professional as individuals who applies, an individual who applies information technology and systems to healthcare data. As well, health, health informatics is described as the intersection of clinical, IT, and management practices for the betterment of healthcare. Careers range from privacy and security to health data analytics. So when will you finish? Students should finish the program within three years. Many students finish between 18 to 24 months based on the number of courses they complete in a term. Even though the programs are cohort based, we have added extra sessions to, of some courses. So you can finish the program a little faster if you take a couple of courses together. It's up to you to determine how many courses can, you can reasonably fit within your schedule. I've listed the courses as they are scheduled for the first year of your studies based on a fall start date. If you're starting in the winter, you'll begin with HTH 101 and then proceed to follow the spring term courses. Please check our website for the specific courses you need to complete for your chosen program. For the fall term, we run two sessions. Session, run, session one courses run September to November. Session two runs November to February. The winter term courses run from February to April, and the spring term begins in May and ends in early July. Some courses are repeated in each term to accommodate people's flexible schedules. So what I want to do now is uh, show you our website and where you can find different information on our website for these programs. Uh, this is our website, as you obviously would have seen before, to register for the session. Uh, so it's mcmasterscce.ca. Uh, you can click over here under Programs. And under our Health and Social Services section here, we've got the three listed, so Health Informatics, Health Information Management and Health Information Systems. Uh, so the programs are broken down that way. Uh, we've got the three programs under Health Information Management, Certificate, Diploma, and Diploma Plus. And then these were the other two that were mentioned. So just to show you an example of the website here. Uh, whenever you're ready, you can always hit this Apply Now button, uh, which will take you, I'll show you how that looks in a second. Uh, but we have some general information about the program, the three different options under health information management. Um, we've got the breakdown of each of those streams here. So health information certificate, diploma, and the diploma plus. Uh, we have admission and prerequisites, uh, application procedure. We have the course descriptions, which is great to look at once you're accepted in the program. You can see what the prerequisites are for each course. So you'll notice that uh, almost all of them have prerequisites. So that's where you have to work through the program in a specific order. Uh, our course outlines are listed here. So if you wanted to get a preview of what you'd be learning in each course, I find this is a, a great to make your decision. Uh, our schedule and fees to help you plan once you're registering for courses, and then some other helpful links down here. So uh, the admission and prerequisites, this is obviously an important page to take a look at before you apply. Uh, you cover the main uh, admission requirements here in terms of previous education, or maybe um, some previous professional experience in lieu of education, or maybe both together. Uh, English proficiency, and then uh, computer proficiency, as well as some completed uh, healthcare related courses. If there are some prerequisites that you're missing, uh, obviously you can't really change much about your previous education or experience uh, to date, um, but uh, some of these courses people might be missing. So if you are missing some courses, you can always click on um, this Foundations and Canadian Health page uh, where we offer these three courses listed here uh, if anybody is missing those. Uh, application procedure. Here we have our next application period, which is now open, and the applications uh, application system will close on January 6, 2020 uh, for this winter period. And just stating all the documents required um, so you're prepared with everything when you do hit apply now. Uh, so when you are ready to apply, you would hit this apply now button. Uh, it's gonna take you to our portal. Uh, when you click on this, it's gonna take a minute or so to load. 
Uh, so please be patient. It's going to take you to a page here. Oh, no, it's quicker than I thought. Uh, it's going to take you to the page here where you can either select um, you have a current uh, Mac ID. So if you're a current McMaster student or was a McMaster student in the past and have a Mac ID and password, you can select that option. Uh, if you have never been a McMaster student, you can, um, or if you don't remember any of your ID information, you can always click here. I need to create an application account. Um, or if you have started an application and you've saved it and you want to come back to it at a later time, you can, you'll uh, be creating a temporary login and password. Uh, so you can use this option at that point where you can sign in with your email address once you have created a new application account. Okay, uh, so hopefully that answers some questions about how to get started. Okay, so that's it for the uh, presentation part of this webinar. Uh, for additional information, please visit our website for more program details. Uh, course descriptions and admission application details. If you have any questions, please contact McMaster Continuing Education via our email or call our information specialists um, at the number provided.